Hello Tab Nation, it's your boy Tom, and today we're not going to really be showing code or teaching you how to code, but we're going to talk about versions. As of right now, version 2 of Auto Hockeys just came out of beta. Uh, like I said, as of right now, there's not an official release, there's just what they're planning to be the official, but it is out of beta regardless. So the question, even before it left beta, was... Which version should I be using? Now, obviously, a lot of people, they're going to come to the website. They're going to see version 1, version 2. You know, for the most part, when you go to download a program, you're always going to download the newest version, obviously. It just makes sense. But AutoHotKeys, it's a little weird that way. You know, you would think, okay, version 2, that's the version I should download because it is the newest. That is not always the case. Now, I can't really tell you which version you should be using. That's really up to you and your situation and just maybe what you want to do. Sure, you can go with version 2 just because it's newer. Uh, you know, if you can't make a decision, fine. If that's the way you make your decision, go for it. But let's uh, kind of break down a few things about which version may be best for you, why you should choose one over the other. So obviously, the biggest thing about version 2 uh, simplified is I basically tell people that if you have a background in coding or you plan to have a background in coding, you know, auto hockeys might be your gateway uh, drug basically to other coding languages. You know, if you're like me, I like to learn other languages, even if I'm just learning the basics, I at least know what its capabilities are. Uh, so maybe eventually after IHK, you kind of feel like you've mastered it or have enough knowledge to move on. You might move on to, you know, JavaScript or Python. Version 2 is going to be structured and formatted more like the more major languages out there, such as Python and whatnot. So it would be a good way to kind of introduce you to that formatting ahead of time before you do move on to the more, like, mainstream uh languages, or if you're coming from one of those mainstream languages, it's going to be more like you're used to as far as like the layout goes, the formatting, everything's a function, for example. Uh, once again, I'm not going to explain all the code and stuff. I will be doing a video later describing the actual differences when it comes to that kind of stuff. Uh, really, the biggest difference, uh, I think, in HK t version 2 is really GUI's have been the biggest change for me at least everything else has been pretty simple to make that uh switch over so that's something also to remember is if you do start with version one eventually if you decide to move to version two it's not a big deal i mean within like an hour or two depending on your skill level how you learn you know that kind of stuff i mean within an hour or two i would say you can make the switch easily you just got to read some documentation. It's not too long just saying, hey, here's here's the changes that are made. Here's how you have to format it now. You know, something as simple as writing a few sin commands and stuff. All you got to do is add brackets. Boom. You're done uh, with that part at least. GUIs, like I said, GUIs I think is probably by far the biggest uh, change you're going to have to get used to. Uh, that one took me a little bit because it was just so different. But everything else is, it's a pretty easy switch. So, you know, if you want to start out in version 1 or you have been in version 1, one this whole time, making that switch is not going to be that big of a deal. <clears throat> Sorry. So I wouldn't worry too much about it. Now, version 1, I tell people if you're a casual coder or you're new to coding completely, you never coded a day in your life, version one's probably gonna be better for you. The reason behind that is it's just, it's it's simpler. Version two has a little bit more of a learning curve. Like I said, it's not that big of a deal, but it, it is gonna be simpler. Uh, the other thing about version one is you can pretty much code and it's gonna work. Where version two, you do have very specific guidelines compared to version one. So it's like, you know, version 2, I can pretty much format it however I want. I want to make a function, I can make a function for what I my uh, goal is. Or I can just write a bunch of commands, press F1, it's going to work. 
So you have a lot more flexibility, which is nice for newer people, or if you just need to code really fast and just have it go, maybe you're playing a video game and you just want to do that, version one's probably the better option for you. It's definitely for the more casual coder, someone who's a complete noob to the coding world in general. Um, as far as I can tell, if I'm wrong, let me know in the comments below, obviously. Um, but so far... I have not found anything that version 1 and version 2 can't do that the other version can do. It really just comes down to just how everything's formatted and laid out, really. Like I said, that's just my experience so far. If you've came across something that one version can do that the other version can't do, definitely know, let me know in the comments below because I'm kind of curious if they're just something I haven't done yet or maybe I just haven't read about yet. I definitely want to know about that and what your experience is on that. Now, obviously, there are, unfortunately, going to be a situations where you are going to be forced to go to version 2. And I really see that more in the work environment because I have done a video where I talk about how you can still have version 1 and version 2 on your computer at the same time. Because I know a big concern is people are like, oh... I want to switch to version 2, I'm going to have to convert all my scripts, I'm going to have to redo all my code. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Don't do that unless you absolutely need to. Because you can run version 1 code and version 2 code. The computer will actually auto-detect which version you're running, and if it can't because it's too similar and it can't tell, it'll actually give you a drop-down when you double-click on your script asking what version you want to run it to. There is also a way to embed into your code which version you're using, and it'll automatically run that version for you if it can't automatically detect itself. Uh, that's going to be on a later video on how to actually do that. I know Joe Glines has done a video about that, so definitely check that out. I'll try to find that video and link it in the description below, um, but I'll be doing one also at some point, uh, incorporating that in somehow. Uh, but yeah, uh, you know, run version 1, version 2, that's what I do. Uh, but yeah, the uh, reason though you might be forced into version 2 though and get rid of version 1 is a work environment. You know, if you are at a job that's using... IHK, they decide to make the move to version 2, you know, it's a good chance that, you know, a company is going to be like, hey, we only want one version. Like, we don't want need two versions floating around of this program, this coding language with two types of scripts floating around. So unfortunately, in that case, you might be forced to move to all version 2 uh, against your will, <laughs> if unless you're okay with that. Now, I did do another video where I actually show you how to convert version 1 code to version 2. Uh, I forget the guy's name, um, but shout out to him. Uh, I forget his name. I, I know he's in some other country. Can't even remember that. Um, but he created this uh, conversion program where you basically just literally copy paste your version 1 code, push the convert button, and it converts it over to version 2 in like one second. And I'm talking thousands of lines of code. I mean, it's so fast. It's so clean. And uh, so far, it seems to pretty much work perfectly. I mean, even if it doesn't, maybe there's something that doesn't get converted quite right. At least it's getting you there 99% of the way. Versus you having to start from scratch or go through all your code. Slowly reformatting it. Making changes. You know, re-completely doing your GUIs. You know, this thing will at least get you 99% of the way. Even if you have to make a few cha minor changes manually, it's better than nothing. Um, so I did a video on that. That will also be in the description below. So check that out. Uh, it works great. I know he's still working on it. So, hey, even though it's working great, it's only going to get better. At least we hope. <laughs> that's the plan, right? Now, that's a bad situation you could get into, unfortunately. Now, one other thing I do want to say is another reason you might want to stick with version 1, if even if you're not just like a complete noob, even if you're like still, you know, you're, you you got a pretty good hang of AHK, but hey, even I run into issues sometimes, and I'm like, I just can't solve this problem. I'm going to Google. I'm seeing, has somebody else had this issue, how did they solve it? You know, if I have to, I'll make a post on Reddit saying, hey guys, like, I just can't figure this out. 
version one, you're more likely to get support as of right now. Obviously, over time, version two will get more support. But the reason why is because pretty much 95%, if not more, of the code you find on the internet, whether it's like GitHub, uh, a Reddit reply, you know, wherever, the forms, it's over 95% of that code as of right now of filming this video is going to all be in version one. So there's going to be more support. Plus, most people are still using version one. As far as I can tell, not a huge percentage of people have moved over to version two. Like even I haven't fully moved it over to version two. I've, I'm kind of in the middle right now where I would say I'm doing like 75% in version one still, and then like 25% in version two. It really just depends on why I'm coding. If I'm just coding for someone as a Reddit answer, most likely they're using version one, obviously. It's gonna be simpler for them to understand. I'm gonna code in version one. But if I'm doing something personally that's only gonna be used by me, I will code in version two just because I do like the layout and the format of it. Um, so it really depends on your situation. Like I said, there's so many different variables haha, that kind of play into this on which version you should use. That's why I can't tell you which version. You kind of have to figure out what's going to be best for you. Or if you're like me, just use both. <laughs> you know, just have everything. Um, so yeah, I mean, really that's what it comes down to is just what you're going to be doing HK with. If you're a complete noob, casual coder version one if you want more of like the mainstream looking type of code functionality you know definitely go with version two then uh, especially if you're coming from a coding background or plan to go into a coding background um, and just like to throw it out there in case you do want to see what other languages look like to kind of compare it of how it compares to version one and version two's layout definitely check out some of my other coding videos uh, my my channel is always going to be pretty much like 90% auto hockeys. But if you're like me, I do like to branch out. Even if I'm only learning the basics of some random language out there. Um, I'm, I do, I'm going to do maybe, I don't know, three to five videos on other languages. Like I've already done some Python videos, uh, JavaScript, NIM. Uh, I've even done like an HTML video. Uh, and I think there's a few other languages I might have done. I can't remember. It's been so long. There's so many videos, it's starting to lose track. But check those videos out if you want to kind of compare of what they look like to decide, you know, hey, if I ever do go to Python, maybe this layout's better for me. That way I can make the transition a little bit easier. Like I said, I'm only ever going to do like three to five videos in other languages, and that's just a way to introduce you all to a new language and kind of get a feel of what's it capable of, what's it look like, how do I code into it, uh, that kind of stuff. Uh, that way, if you do eventually branch out, you at least have an introduction on maybe which path you want to take. So I do do some other videos. I still try to stick with making them centered around H or HTML, uh, around automation, except for HTML. Obviously, I... That video was just kind of an introduction to HTML. It wasn't really about automation, but I still try to stick with automation. All right. Like I said, if you guys do have something that version one or version two can't do or can do that the other version can't do, let me know in the comments below because I am very curious about that. I have not ran into anything about that. It's been an issue. Uh, but maybe you have, or maybe you've read more documentation than I have, because I did, honestly, I'll be completely honest, I kind of skimmed through it because I didn't care a whole bunch. I was just like, okay, I know what to do. Here I go. I might have missed something. Um, so let me know. Let me know what you're going to do, because there is so many options here. Like I said, you can stick with version 1. You can make the switch to version 2, or you can do both. You know, wh which of those three are you all doing? Are you doing one? Are you doing two, you know, that kind of stuff. All right, everybody, stick around. I have usually about two videos every week coming out to you, auto hotkeys, or at least something in automation. And hit that subscribe button, bell notification, so you know when I release them. And I will see you all on the next one, hopefully. Peace.